Football 1981 begins for the University of Tennessee and defending national champions, University of Georgia, at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. Recently enlarged with the addition of some 17,000 seats at that section that you're looking at right now, this the largest crowd ever to see a football game in the state of Georgia. For Georgia, clad in red jerseys with white numerals and silver football fans, the Tri-Captains, as the Tennessee Tri-Captains also meet, and across the way, the University of Tennessee football team in white uniforms with orange numerals racing on to the field. Referee Robert Allier will toss the coin. Number 73, Lee North. Number 80, Mike Kofer for Tennessee. 84 is Brian Ingram. Tennessee wins the toss. Elects to receive. The captains out there for Georgia were Buck Ballou, the quarterback, the fine receiver, Lindsey Scott, and Steve Kelly, the defensive back. Tennessee will drift Willie Golf, number 26, back deep in the end zone, actually standing at the goal line right now. A grass surface at Sanford Stadium as football 90, 1981 is set to get underway with the defending national champions, University of Georgia, kicking off. Here's the kick by Butler coming downfield, goes all the way through the end zone. So the freshman from Stone Mountain, Georgia, rides it all the way through the end zone, and Tennessee puts the ball in play first down and 10 to go after the touchback at its 20-yard line. That's Kofer in motion. Olszewski throwing to Mike Miller. Gets a block, 25, 30, out to the 33-yard line. Tennessee with a first down. Olszewski, the quarterback, a second look at this first play of the ball game and of the season, and it's a first down for the Volunteers. Georgia playing in a six-man front. To the ground level where Olszewski looks over that defense. Olszewski, James Berry running from the tailback spot, stood up after getting maybe three, perhaps four yards. Give him four yards to the 37. Third down, excuse me, second down six for Tennessee. That was Kofer taking a step back and is now a man in motion to set a block, but Georgia fights through the interference and makes the stop for no game. Barry, maybe a yard. Third and five, Olszewski. Passes, complete. First down yardage to James Barry. Here's a second look. At the little flare pattern out into the flat. Olszewski, number five, from Parma, Ohio. Barry from Natchez, Mississippi. It's first down, Tennessee. First and ten for the balls. Olszewski looking over the defense. The pitch. This is Randall Morris. And Morris has stood up after a gain of maybe a yard. On the play, a penalty marker is down, as you see. And there will be a 15-yard penalty against Tennessee for clipping. It's first and 24 for the Volunteers back at the Tennessee 30. Olszewski, straight drop, pass, complete, 35, 40. Out of bounds at the 42-yard lines. James Berry, a second look. Olszewski, Berry, knocked out of bounds, but Tennessee picks up 11 of the 24 yards. Second down, 13 at the 41. Olszewski, complete, Galt. The Olympic speedster knocked out of bounds, but Tennessee gets more yardage through the air. Third down, seven, Olszewski, passing, complete, Barry, fighting for first down yardage. He's carried out of bounds, but I think he got the first down. A second look, Olszewski. The pass to Barry, complete, goes to the 46-yard line. That will be enough for the Tennessee first down. First and 10 for Tennessee, number 34, James Berry, a senior running back. He's now been shifted, no, that's Alvin Tolles, the fullback, crashing straight ahead, and Cole Tolles picks up two yards to the Georgia 43-yard line. Tennessee in Georgia territory, game just getting underway, no score at Athens. Olszewski, complete. Galt turns to the inside, runs into Randall Morris, his own player, and is knocked down. A second look at this first down pass. Galt, great speed, but he moves to the inside and in heavy traffic is dropped. First and 10 for Tennessee at the Georgia 30. In motion, that was Kofer. This is Randall Morris stood up and thrown by Hogue behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. 
Second down, 13. Oshevsky across the middle, dropped. Intended there for Miller. Mike Miller had the angle, the pass right on target, but he dropped it. It goes incomplete. Third down, 13, Tennessee. No score, first period. Tennessee in white, Georgia in red. From the blind side, Oshevsky is hit from behind and dropped. It was Gilbert who pounds from the rear, and Tennessee is faced with a fourth down. The ball drive apparently stopped, and here is Jimmy Colquitt on to punt. Deep for Georgia will be Kelly. The punt, a high, wobbly spiral. Kelly backing up is hit as the ball hits. No penalty marker on the play. Kelly says, why not? But the ball was over his head, and the officials obviously ruling he was not in position to make the catch, even had he intended to. So Georgia goes on offense for the first time. Hand off to the fullback, and pounding straight up the middle comes Stewart. Gain of four, but on the play, Georgia was guilty of backfield in motion, so Tennessee accepts the penalty half the distance to the goal. Here's Herschel Walker through the right side of the line. Walker, the All-American, still carrying the ball, battling his way out there to the 15-yard line. A second look at Herschel Walker. Now a sophomore. Herschel Walker picks up 11 yards. It will be second down and three. Buck Ballou, number eight. The quarterback on the pitch, Herschel Walker, turns inside the block, runs through one tackle, staggers forward for the first down. First and 10, Georgia at the 22-yard line. Happy the center, handoff, Walker, stiff arm, gets to the corner, slides inside, Tennessee react pretty well, containing him, forcing him to the interior, and he is dropped. Gain of three. Ballou pass complete. This is Norris Brown, the tight end. Tennessee converges to stop, but going underneath, Georgia picks up a first down. First down, Georgia Ballou, pitch Walker. Tennessee reacts well, 84 Ingram there. Second down, Georgia. Again, Ballou passing. Again, it's complete. Again to the tight end. A second look, Ballou, that's Norris Brown. Change that, Lindsey Scott making the catch. First down. Georgia at its 49-yard line. Nothing, nothing, the score. The give this time is to the fullback. Stewart gets four yards, moving into Tennessee territory. Walker breaks inside. He's open, 35, 30, 25, 20. Walker going all the way, but there is a penalty flag down. Herschel Walker gets the crack and races along the sideline for an apparent touchdown, but a penalty marker is down, and Georgia is guilty of clipping. It was enough for the first, however, and it's first and 10 for Georgia at the Tennessee 40. Carney Norris now a tailback replacing Walker through the right side of the line. Georgia second down. Ballou. Long pass down the middle. Complete. Lindsey Scott. Great reception between two volunteers. A second look at this pass. Buck Ballou sets up. Plenty of time and splitting the defenders, senior Lindsey Scott, premier pass receiver, and Georgia is deep in Tennessee territory. It will be first down goal at the six. Herschel Walker gets a couple to the four. Ballou on the keeper, turns, battling down to the two yard line. It's gotta be third down and goal for the Bulldogs of Georgia. Nothing to nothing the score. The Bulldogs, the defending national champions, against the Volunteers of Tennessee. Ballou, handoff Walker, Walker didn't make it. Great stop by Mike Cofer, Tennessee's junior linebacker. Georgia has it fourth down, still goal to go. Nothing to nothing the score. The Volunteers digging in with the goal line defense. The give is to Walker, hurtling into the end zone. Touchdown for the Dogs. In to attempt the extra point will be Kevin Butler, a freshman. Broadway holds for the kick that is good, and Georgia leads Tennessee by a score of 7 to nothing at the end of the first period.
Georgia will be kicking off as play resumes. Second period of action. Tennessee picks up the ball at its 24-yard line. Oshesky rolling to the right. He's going to carry the football. Cuts up side up field and slides on the turf after a gain of probably four yards. And now it's Tolles who is rattled and dropped for no gain. Third down and six. Tennessee at the 24-yard line. Oshesky now to the near side. Going to cut up field. Got five yards, but he's short of the first by about a yard. So it's going to be fourth down and one to go. And Tennessee again is forced to punt. Cockwood is deep. Fourth down a yard to go. Tennessee trailing seven to nothing. Berry on a fourth down try. Berry's going for a first down, and he made it. Big gamble for the Volunteers on a fourth down and a yard. Tennessee fakes the punt. The up back carries for the first. It's first down ten. Oshevsky in trouble, comes out of the pocket, looks downfield, pumping, throwing, it is complete. Great striding catch inside the boundary by Mike Miller. Miller for 16 yards to the 47-yard line. It's first down and 10 to go. The ball's moving, trailing 7 to nothing. Oshevsky's pass batted down at the line of scrimmage. I think that was Jimmy Payne who got his hand up. Second down and 10. Tennessee floods the left side with a slot formation. Tight end splits to the right into the boundary, as you see. Eye formation for the balls. Georgia in a four-man front. Oshevsky to throw. Long pass downfield. It is incomplete. It was intended for Willie Galt. Steve Kelly barely got the in there in time to knock the ball down. Incomplete. And Tennessee is faced with third down and ten. Georgia jumping around on defense. Could be a blitz. We'll see. Oshevsky. Checking off at the line of scrimmage. Oh, here comes the pressure. Drops the pass into the flat. Complete. But then Kofer, who had to turn to make the grab, falls short of the first. So Tennessee on fourth down and five yards to go. Has Cockwood skying a high punt that will be short and will be taken on the fair catch by Kelly. The score remains 7 0 Georgia leading as the Bulldogs go on offense first and 10 at the 19 yard line. Buck Ballou passing downfield. It is complete. Great reception by Lindsey Scott. Nine-yard pickup, one yard shy of the first. It'll be second down and one to go. Handoff fullback. He's got the first down as Young comes bounding forward to the 32. First and 10, Georgia. Georgia again. It was Young this time through the left side for about five yards to the 37-yard line. Second down, five. Carney Norris at a tailback, slithers through the right side of the line for a gain of four, making it third down, a yard to go. Ballou, long pass downfield. It is incomplete, as you saw from the sideline. Scott had his hands on the ball for ever so slight a second, and then it was flicked away. A second look from upstairs. Long pass. There is Scott. There it's batted down. 19 is Carlton Peoples. He is the man who battles to knock it away, along with Daryl Harper of Tennessee. In to punt will be Broadway. Tennessee ready to rush. The snap juggled. Broadway picks it up. Gets the great, great effort by Broadway, getting the punt away. Galt asks for the fair catch. A juggled snap, but Broadway was able to retain his poise and get the punt away. First and 10, Tennessee trailing 7 to nothing at the 24. Olszewski, a screen into the flat. Mike Miller rambles for maybe three yards. And it will be for Tennessee, second down and seven. Olszewski with the ball, juggles it. It has been fumbled and has been recovered by Lindsey of Georgia. Mix up. The back, I think, went on the wrong side of the quarterback, ran into the ball, and there's the happy warrior, Lindsey, who recovers for the dog. So Georgia. Leading 7 to nothing, first down and 10 at the Volunteer, 32. Pass complete. Pulling it down, Norris, the tight end. Norris Brown it is, who receives the pass and goes down to the 18-yard line. First and 10, Ballou, Walker. Tennessee there waiting on the fine sophomore tailback. No game. Second down, 10 yards to go. 
Seven to nothing. Georgia leading. Ballou on second down. Scott in motion, right to left. Pitch to Walker. At the corner, cuts back. He's dropped. Got two yards. Third down, seven. Ballou to pass. Throwing into the end zone. Complete touchdown, Georgia. Ballou to Lindsey Scott. Perfectly thrown pass. A second look from the sideline. Ballou. Diving. Scott pulls it up for the touchdown. Georgia 13, Tennessee nothing. Butler will attempt the extra point. Number three is Broadway holding. The kick is in the air. The kick is good. And Georgia leads Tennessee at the end of the first half by a score of 14 to nothing. Tennessee will be kicking off to begin the second half of this game being played at Sanford Stadium before over 76,000 fans in Athens, Georgia on the campus of the University of Georgia. Kicking off for Tennessee will be John Warren. It's taken by the receiver who took a step outside the goal line then stepped back into the end zone as the official, the referee Allier, wound the clock. The receiver, who was Jones, decided to run out of there. Had he downed the ball, it would have been a safety, obviously, but Georgia has it first down. Tennessee in a five-man front. Handoff fullback. Stewart breaks a tackle. Stewart on his way into the clear. This is Stewart racing with Darrell Harper of Tennessee to the 45, 35, 30, 25, ridden down from behind by Darrell Harper. Ronnie Stewart, a second look. That's Lindsey Scott, number 24, in motion. Ballou is the quarterback. The handoff is to the fullback. Breaks that tackle there. Suddenly, he squirts free. And there's the foot race. Darrell Harper, not giving up, reaches, grabs the jersey, and rides him down at the Tennessee 20-yard line. 65 yards. That run by Ronnie Stewart. Georgia leading 14 to nothing to the line they come. This is Walker. And Walker moves through the left side of the line for three yards down to the 17-yard line. Second down, seven to go. Herschel Walker. Walker, turning, lowering his head, carries the ball down to the six-yard line. It's first down. Pitch to Herschel Walker. Tennessee covers that number one is Lee Jenkins, who throws Walker for a loss of two yards. Third and goal now as Walker again has stood up and shoved back. Reggie White was there for Tennessee. It's third down goal. Georgia leading 14 to nothing, threatening again. Ballou being pressured, giving ground. Out of the pocket, being forced. There, number 40 is Bill Bates who knocks him down for a sizable loss back to the 20-yard line. Fourth down and goal. Ballou, Tennessee's secondary, doing a fine job defending the receivers. He's looking. Now he has to give ground, and it's number 40, Bates, along with 92, Reggie White, who was in on all three of those plays. And Georgia will go for the field goal. 36-yard attempt by Butler. It is good. Georgia 17, Tennessee nothing. Number 26, going deep for Tennessee will be Willie Galt. And kicking off, it's going to be Butler. What a job he has done. There's his kick. High and long. Taken on a bounce at the goal line. Galt, 15. Knocked down by Andy Loy as he gets out there to the 16-yard line. Tennessee trailing 17 to nothing. First down, 10 in its own territory. The Vols have opened every possession in poor field position inside the 25-yard line of the Volunteers. This pass complete. Mike Miller, number 88. Eight-yard gain. It'll be second down two. Olszewski. Handoff. Berry for a yard to the 25. Third and one. This time it's Alvin Tolles, the fullback, a freshman from Forsyth, Georgia, crashing through the middle, and Tennessee has its first down. First and 10, Tennessee trailing 17 to nothing to the Bulldogs of Georgia, defending national champions. 
Jeff Olszewski. His pass is deflected by the big defensive end on the left side, Gilbert. Incomplete. Second down, 10. Olszewski. Complete. This is Mike Coe for the tight end. Again, going underneath to make the reception. Tennessee will have it. Third down, two yards to go. Georgia jumping on defense, in and out as you see. Oshevsky's pass, complete with it, Lenny Taylor. And Taylor comes forward for the first down. A second look at the first down pass that's good for eight yards. Taylor, stutter stepping, adds about three yards after making the catch. And Tennessee's got it first and ten at the volunteer 45-yard line. Georgia continues to jump, feigning a blitz from the right linebacker. Actually, he's a defensive end. Oshevsky on a pitch. Oh, Georgia covers it beautifully. A loss on the play. And Tennessee will have the ball. First, uh, second down. There was a penalty on the play. There was a penalty on the play, and so the 15-yard step-off gives Tennessee a first down. Here's that screen pass behind the line of scrimmage once more, and Tennessee gets it back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. On the preceding play, Tennessee received a 15-yard penalty step-off against the Bulldogs, and Tennessee's got the football. Olszewski in Georgia territory loops a pass that is incomplete, intended for Tolles, who was hit apparently by Taylor at the moment the ball got there. Pass is incomplete. Now Oshevsky working out of the shotgun. But Georgia overpowers Tennessee's offensive line, and even though Oshevsky was in the shotgun formation, he is sacked for the loss, and it's fourth down for the Volunteers. And into the game comes Colquitt to punt. His punt again very high and very short and Kelly comes racing up to signal for and make a fair catch in a crowd of white clad volunteers but Georgia goes on offense again the Georgia defense throttling the Tennessee team Georgia at its 24 yard line first down high formation Herschel Walker to the near sideline there you see the cut the power the speed the drive gain of eight yards second and two Georgia Walker this time to the left side. Gets a block of the corner from Jones. Then people struggle, slows him. He's forced out of bounds. 16-yard gain by Walker, a second look. Feeling his way. Starting to cut. It's closed up. Swings wide. Sets up his blocker. Breaks a tackle. Runs through another. Finally, three volunteers force him out of bounds. Herschel Walker, a 16-yard gain. It's first down 10 at the Georgia 48-yard line. Walker starts to the middle, it's closed. He swings to the right, sweeping the end. Carries two volunteers for a gain of 11 yards. First and 10 at the volunteer 41 yard line. Georgia leading 17 to nothing, marching with the ball. Tennessee in a five man front. Here's the pass, it is intended for Scott. Great catch! Lindsey Scott with a one hand catch. A gain of four yards. This is Cardi Norris, the tailback in for Walker. He finds a hole through the middle of the line, carries the ball downfield. Lost possession, but after he was down. A second look. Carney Norris. On the misdirection play, ruled that he had possession of the ball when he hit the ground. Tennessee objecting, saying it was a fumble, but the official says no. Georgia. Maintains possession, first down 10 at the Tennessee 27. Buck Ballou looking to pass, running out of real estate, knocked out of bounds by the swarming Tennessee defense. Number 93, Mike Colfer. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. No loss either. Handoff fullback, Young pounds the middle, carries for four yards to the 23. Third down six, Ballou back to throw. Long pass into the end zone, complete. Touchdown to Lindsey Scott. A second look at this throw and catch, Ballou to Scott. There's Scott going deep. 
Makes the catch with one foot in bounds. That's all it takes in college football. Touchdown for Georgia. Then to attempt the extra point will be Butler. 23 to nothing. He'll try to make it 24. As the kick by Butler splits the uprights. And Georgia leads Tennessee by a score of 24 to nothing. So Georgia, which walked through 12 opponents in 1980 to win the national championship, capping it with the win over Notre Dame in the Sugar Bowl, takes up right where it left off. And there you see swarming coverage on the kickoff as Willie Galt returns for Tennessee. And the Volunteers have a new quarterback into the football game, number six, Alan Cockrell. He is a freshman from Joplin, Missouri. First college play ever for Alan Cockrell. On the keeper, swinging to the right, pumps, carries, moves the ball forward for a gain as he dives. Pickup of seven yards, second down three for Tennessee. Ball at the Volunteer 23-yard line. 24 to nothing to score Georgia. Cockrell, keeping this time the other way, coming toward the camera. He's shoved out of bounds, but he picks up the first down. First and 10, Tennessee. Cockrell with two carries and a first down. The Volunteers have the ball at the Tennessee 27-yard line. Cockrell surveys the defense, checks out his alignment. Barks out the count. Cockrell. Pitch goes to the trailing Coleman, and Coleman has no help whatsoever out in front of him. He's thrown for a loss. Four-yard loss, and Cockrell at quarterback has it second and 14. Cockrell is slowed and dropped. He gets nothing. No gain on the play. It was Thurston there first. Tennessee third down, 14 yards to go. Trailing 24 to nothing in the third period. Cockrell. Back to throw, gets some pressure, drops it into the flat, complete, pulled down by Coleman. Coleman gets the ball back to the 28-yard line. It is short of a first, and so Tennessee will be sending Colquitt into the game to punt. Colquitt is a freshman. Fourth down for the Volunteers. Colquitt, snap, punt is away. A high, long spiral, backing up Kelly, pulls it down at his 15-yard line to the 20. 25 out to the 30 yard line where he is nailed and a penalty marker is dropped at that point 57 yard punt 15 yard return but the return is wiped off because of the clip against Georgia moving it back to the dog 15 yard line where Georgia leading 24 to nothing has it first down and 10 to go the give is to Stewart the fullback a little opening in the center of the line cracks it forward for a pickup of two Second out, eight yards to go. Georgia, this is Herschel Walker, swinging to the left side, turns inside, is met there, and is shoved back. But not until he actually picked up a yard with his forward progress. Third down for Georgia. As Ballou again drops to pass. Throws it into the flat, complete to Walker. Walker is met by McMichael, juggles the ball, it pops loose. There's a struggle for that fumble on the turf. The official leaning in, trying to figure out who has possession. Finally, it is ruled that Georgia does maintain possession, recovering the fumble. So into punt will be Broadway. Broadway to punt. There's the snap. The punt blocked. That's Jackson who blocks it. Tennessee racing after the loose ball. It's a live ball picked up by 93 Cooper. Cooper racing into the end zone. There's a penalty marker down back up field. Tennessee an apparent touchdown after the blocked punt by Jackson is picked up by Cooper, but there is a penalty marker down. We'll wait and see what the ruling will be. Tennessee guilty of having 12 men on the field. So the blocked punt, the touchdown is wiped off, a 15-yard penalty assessed, and Georgia's got it first down and 10. The pitch comes back to Walker, starts right, nothing there, swings back to the left, 35, 40, up to the 45, he's tackled. What a great open field tackle by Carlton Peoples of Tennessee. But it's first down for the Bulldogs. As the third period comes to a close, at the end of three quarters, the score, Georgia 24, Tennessee nothing. 
In the final quarter, the Bulldogs will be moving toward the north end of the football field. Ballou has gone all the way at quarterback. It is he there now as Tennessee lines up with a six-man front. The handoff to Walker. Cuts inside. There he goes. Herschel Walker. Look at the power. Walker carrying for 14 yards to the volunteer 41-yard line. Then a marker was dropped at the end of the play, and Tennessee's going to be penalized 15 yards. Personal foul. So it's a 30-yard pickup by Georgia on that play. Ballou's got to pass the ball incomplete. It was intended for Williams, the new tight end, overthrown. Ballou on the give. Walker trying to look stiff arms. He's rolled down by Peoples for a loss. A loss of a yard on the play. It'll be third down, 11, Georgia. Fourth period, Ballou passing down the middle. The pass is incomplete, intended for Jones. It was overthrown. So into the game on fourth down to attempt a 44-yard field goal is the freshman Butler. The kick by Butler is up. The official lining it up and says it is good. Ugga four, the mascot of the Georgia Bulldogs. Was it? Not at all. That's Smokey, Tennessee's mascot. Get your dog straight. Georgia will be kicking off. It will be Galt for Tennessee receiving in the end zone on the touchback, and so Tennessee goes on offense first out and 10 to go. At the 20-yard line. Georgia jumps into a four-man front. Allen Cockrell for the balls. Rolling right, passes. It is juggled and dropped. Pullman had it for a fleeting instant, looked up to run, dropped the ball. So Tennessee with Cockrell back to throw. Pumping long pass downfield is intercepted. Georgia jumping in to intercept the ball was Harris, a junior college transfer. A second look at the pass, which was just a hair late getting there. There's the pass. The man was open, but jumping in front, beautifully timing to intercept was Harris. And so Georgia goes back on offense after the turnover in Tennessee territory at the volunteer 30-yard line. Ballou is there at quarterback. This is Carney Norris cutting to the left side. He goes for a pickup of five yards down to the volunteer 25. Norris again, this time pounding straight up the middle. And the tailback edges close to a first down. It will be third down, a yard to go. Ballou is thrown behind the line of scrimmage by senior middle guard Steve Kluge on the third down play, and it's fourth down and into attempt a 45-yard field goal will be Butler. Butler swings the leg, hits it well with plenty of room to spare. The kick is good. Georgia 30, Tennessee nothing. As the Bulldogs cash in on a Tennessee turnover and kicking off again. It's going to be Butler. 30 to nothing. Georgia leading Tennessee. The dogs were favored in most quarters by two touchdowns. Playing beautifully in this game. Willie Galt receiving the kickoff out to the 20. Slips and falls and is pinned as he gets to the 22-yard line. Cockrell at quarterback for Tennessee. Behind Lee North, the center. Cockrell back to throw. In trouble, will run. Back to the line of scrimmage. Carries for about five yards out to the 27. Second down, five yards to go for Tennessee. Cockrell surveys the defense again. Hand off with it is James Berry running at fullback now. And Berry crashes over left guard for the first down. Tennessee, first down. At the Volunteer 33 and a half yard line. Cockrell spinning to the right. Wants to throw the ball, pumps it downfield, complete. It's Daryl Harper, no, yes. Pulling it down, Daryl. Tennessee's Daryl Harper pulls it down for the first down. Daryl Wilson it is who made the reception. So Tennessee will have it. First down and 10 to go at the 43 yard line. Wilson from Bristol, Virginia. Cockrell being rushed and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Never had a chance as Kevin Jackson powers it on top of him to roll him down. 
Jimmy Colquitt practicing the putting on the sideline. Cockrell sees the linebackers jump in and out. Works to the close side, throws the ball, and it's a little bit behind tight end Kenny Jones, and it's incomplete. So now on fourth down, Colquitt comes into the football game. The punt by Colquitt. Taken by Kelly. Moving back past the 30 out in the vicinity of the 35-yard line where he was tackled. Georgia with a new quarterback. John Lastinger is now on there at quarterback, replacing Ballou. Lastinger spinning to the left, throws the ball across the middle, complete. Clarence K, the tight end. A second look. Sophomore Lastinger. Complete K, a sophomore. 27 yards for the first down to the volunteer. 36 yard line. And again, Lastinger is on target. This time completing a pass to Scott Williams. And the ball's at the Tennessee 20, first down. Matt Simon. Georgia grinding it out through the air on the ground. On the play, holding, however, against Georgia will wipe off the gain by Simon, which was good for 10. And it's moved back to the 21-yard line. Again, it's Simon, and this time he hurdles the line over the right side. Carries the ball forward as Georgia leads 30 to nothing, moving closer and closer to the Tennessee goal. The ball's digging in on a five-man front. Lastinger's pass into the flat, complete to Williams, down to the 11-yard line. And Georgia going for the first down, plunges forward. It is first down and 10 to go. Ball at the eight-yard line of Tennessee, first down and goal. Out of the power eye set. This is Simon straight up the middle, into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Simon scores as Georgia adds to its advantage. Butler to attempt the extra point. His try again is good. And Georgia leads Tennessee by a score of 37 to nothing. And the Bulldogs will be kicking off. Here's the kick. Goes on through the end zone as Randall Morris was back deep that time for Tennessee. Cockwell at quarterback. His team behind 37 to nothing. Starting at the 20. Cockwell dances for two. Second down eight. Georgia, four-man front, back to throw Cockrell. Pass, overthrow, incomplete. Third down eight, Tennessee. Cockrell to the near side. Pass downfield is caught, then jarred loose. Mike Miller had it, was really popped from the rear by Dean, and Miller injured on the play. Fourth down, Colquitt in for Tennessee. Another punt for the freshman. Relatively low, taken on the run. Back to the 47, 48-yard line was Jones. So Georgia, leading 37 to nothing, gets its third quarterback. This is Jeff Polk into the lineup. The third quarter, a fullback carrying the ball, Clark. He gets nine yards straight up the middle, moving into the Tennessee 43-yard line. Mark again, this time for first down yardage at the 36 of Tennessee. Simon stood up, stopped, no gain on the play. Second down, 10. Georgia keeping it on the ground. Simon starts over tackle and swings wide around the end, moves the ball down to the Tennessee 30-yard line. Third down, four. Fourth period, Georgia leading 37 to nothing. Simon cuts inside. Going to be short of a first. As they measure. Fourth down upcoming. And Georgia is going to go for the first down, obviously. Sneaking Falk, he's got it. Falk on the sneak. Moves it down to the volunteer 25-yard line. This is Simon. Rambling forward, diving. Out of bounds, says the official at the 17. Second down, a couple to go. And 
Adam Simon. Is that McCarthy it is. Pounds to the left side. It's first down. George leading 37 to nothing. Driving toward the goal line yet another time. That's Buckler in motion. Coming back against the motion is Simon. And Simon, the tailback, gets about five yards. Clock ticking away, but Georgia moving. Falk on a handoff. Reception. And over the right. All the way down to the Tennessee one-yard line. Georgia will have the ball at the one-yard line. Diving at Simon into the end zone, but he fumbled the ball. There's a scurry for it at the two-yard line, and Georgia has recovered the fumbled ball. Georgia, second down goal. Simon, he comes catapulting forward, but he stopped short. So it'll be third down and goal as the seconds tick away in this football game. There you see how much time is left. Georgia leading 37 to nothing. Quarterback Falk brings his team up. Third down, let's see the call. Tennessee at its goal line defense. Falk fakes, keeps, he's all by himself. He'll waltz into the end zone, and Georgia has another touchdown. Jeff Falk scores for the dogs. And Broadway will be holding for the extra point attempt by Butler. 43 to nothing. The kick is up and good. And the University of Georgia begins the defense of its national championship in a most impressive style, winning over Tennessee at Athens by a score of 44 to nothing. <laughs>